I've actually got goosebumps. It's, it's the most crazy. I've been working on it for years and years and years and it's finally ready to go in the next two weeks, I believe. And I'm a bit mad because he hasn't actually shown me. I've, I've, told literally, me I've literally, I literally, genuinely, genuinely have kept it hidden from you for so long. And I didn't know that. That's mind blowing. They shuffle the deck. I don't touch the cards. Mind blowing. That's insane. Think, if you think about it. The beauty. The, the, you ca you cannot fathom how somebody how you could do that. Do you want to see my brand new unreleased app? Drop a like on the video if you do. Ah, I'm just kidding. Here it is. Maxim. And in today's episode of Fooler, I'm going to show you and expose everything about it, including two uncut performances and I'll explain to you how it works. Enjoy the show. And if you would like to win a free advanced copy of Maxim before anyone else, then all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and comment down below, pick me. That's all you need to do and I'll pick one of you at random to get an advanced copy of Maxim this week. Now let's dive into the two performances and the explanation. For this episode of Fooler, we are throwing the rule book out the window. I wanna take a book and throw it. <laughs> I'm not going to bother have, a, have Kaylee try and rate it whether she was fooled or not because I think pretty much you're going to know most of the methods or some of the method at least going on here. Okay. This is different because this is a trick which absolutely destroys layman and I've never shared it on you here before. Okay. And you need to forget your arrogant know-it-all, we're all guilty of it, egotistical magician brain where you watch it and go, oh, I know the method, therefore I don't like it. You need to appreciate this from the layman's standpoint because this is to them futuristic. This is like a really unexplainable magic that happens in their hands. And the method is just killer. When you find out the full method, you're gonna do cartwheels. Ooh. So with that being said, I'm gonna put a bit of pressure on you, Kale. Oh. This is all gonna happen in your hands. I'm not gonna do this. So okay. you need to shuffle the deck. Give them a good old shuffle, and the pressure comes from doing it behind your back. What, like that? Yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can do it. We can make it a bit easier. Uh, you shuffle them, but like push them, o push them over in your hands, like spread them. Yeah. And then cut them to the bottom. Yeah. So you're creating a new order, right? Yeah. But do that behind your back, genuinely behind your back, right? Okay. So now that is shuffling it, but that way I can't see what order she's putting them in, what way she's mixing them up, and you can't see either. So that way you're genuinely shuffling them into an order that none of us could know. Is yeah. that fair? Yeah. All Sorry, right. my tongue's coming out. So I'm trying not to drop as you them. Do, as you do that, as you do that, I'm going to time you. Okay. Okay, so you haven't started yet? Oh, I did. <laughs> is there something else I can help with? Uh, no, thanks. No, why is Siri coming out? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when, yeah. I sweat, when I hit start, okay. you're going to go. Okay. And I'm going to ask you one question as you're shuffling. Oh, God, okay. Ready? Yeah. Set. Name any playing card. Free choice, completely. Um, the Four of Hearts. Do you want to change your mind? Uh, no. You sure? When the timer stops, that's it. Okay. You sure? Yeah. Cool. So when the timer stops, you're going to stop shuffling, and, and that's it. You can't mix them anymore. Okay. Okay, so keep going until we hear that timer. Oh, oh stop. Good? Yeah. Bring them out. Stop shuffling. Check you haven't shuffled it to the bottom. Good. Happy with that? Yeah. Faye? Yeah. So think about this. You took the cards behind your back. Yeah. And you shuffled them up. Yeah. Into a completely new order. Yeah. That neither of us could know. Mm-hmm. Right? And then you named one card completely free of choice. Yeah. Did, and for the, for the audience at home, did I influence you yeah. in any way for that? No. Right? I wasn't even thinking about it because I was thinking about not dropping the cards. <laughs> okay, perfect. This would only work with you, with that deck, shuffled into that order and that exact card that you named. Stopping in time at the exact moment that it did. Right? Okay. You're going to spell the name of your card. Value and then suit. Heart, four. Yeah. <clears throat> into my hand. Okay. Or four heart, whatever. Do four. F. O. O U. R. R H E A R T S S Four of Hearts. It's there. <laughs> okay. okay. Think about this. You shuffled that deck. Yeah. You named any card. Yeah. 
you stopped when the, neither of us knew when the timer was going to I knew when the timer was going to stop. I didn't know what order that you shuffled them into. <laughs> yeah. If you'd named the four of clubs, this would not have worked. If you'd named the queen of spades, this wouldn't work. If you'd named the six of diamonds, this probably wouldn't have worked. The seven, this wouldn't have worked with any other card with the deck in any other order but the four of hearts. That's nuts. And you shuffle that deck behind your back. That's nuts. How did I get it to the place where it spells its own name? Isn't that insane? Yeah. That's pa that is power. That is power because... And no one could... How could you know that? It's pretty crazy, isn't it? I do think... Yeah. You know the method. You, you, you know I think parts I know of the method. parts of the method, but I don't know... I don't know the But exact... if you think about that from a layman's point of view... Yeah, if you give shuffle that deck, to somebody... They that... shuffle the deck, they name any card, and they just spell to it and it's there. In the deck that you don't touch. That's nuts. No. I love that. I think that's good. So what we'll do now, right? I think everyone at home, if you are watching and you've got this far, please comment below what you think of the trick from a layman's point of view. If you think, wow, if I could actually go out and perform that trick. Like, let me know your thoughts on it right in the comments. Pause the video for a second because we're going to do something which we don't do on here before. Okay. I'm going to repeat the trick exactly the same way again. And you're going to see something pretty cool. Okay. All right. I'm going to start the trick again. Okay. This right. is interesting. Yeah. So, Kaylee. Yeah. And you shuffle the deck like this. Well, we all know I'm rubbish, so we're not doing it like <laughs> that. <laughs> behind your back. Okay. But we'll make it easier. I want you to spread the cards and cut some to the bottom, yeah. in the top, whatever. Do this behind your back. So that way you're shuffling them in a way that you're not going to drop them, but it is behind your back. And yeah. if there was a table, it could be done on a table, okay? Okay. As you do that... I'll I won't do it yet. <laughs> as you do that, I'm going to time you. Okay. Cool? Yeah. So when I say... Yeah. Start, when I say go, that's when you start shuffling, and I'll ask you to name a card completely at random. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. Okay. So name a card. The Eight of Clubs. Do you want to change your mind? Uh, no. Okay. Whenever that timer goes off, you're just going to stop shuffling dead right there. Okay. Don't die. No, okay. Don't die. <laughs> just don't shuffle. Okay. This is fair, right? Yeah. Yeah? It's totally fair. Hopefully the, the okay stop okay stop yeah bleep stop. the deck yeah yeah bring it out check you didn't shuffle it to the bottom okay good happy with that yeah all right perfect now think about this this is insane this would only ever have worked with you right here right now at this exact moment in time okay I'll show you what I mean this is bizarre you shuffled that deck into a completely unique order yeah. You name any card completely free of choice. Yeah. Right? No influence in a force in. No. What's today's date? The 26th of May. <laughs> 26th of May. Yeah. This is insane. The 26th of the 5th, 2022. Yeah. Face up. Yeah. Count 26. Okay. One, two, two three. three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. That's the month, right? That's the date. Yeah, that's the month. Uh, that's, that's the date of the month, yeah. right? If this was the twenty-fifth, we would be one, be one less. Yeah. If it was the twenty-seventh, be two cards more, right? Yeah. The month is the fifth. So yeah. Count five. Okay. One, two, two three, four, four five. five. And the year is 2022, so count 2022. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> count two, zero, two, two, and okay. stop. So two, one, two, zero, zero, two, one, two, and another two, one, two, two. Now listen to this. You took this deck behind your back. Yeah. You shuffled it up. Yeah. Into this unique order, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't know the order, you didn't know the order. And no. you named any other card. Yeah. If the date of the month was different by two days, three days, four days, if it was the second, third, fourth of the month, yeah. this amount of cards would be different. If we were in a different month, yeah. it was January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, whatever, yeah. there'd be a different amount of cards here. If we were in a different year, mm -hmm. there'd be a different amount of cards here. Everything about this would be completely different. But we are right here, right now, the 26th of May, mm -hmm. 2022. You shuffled the deck into a completely unique order and completely named one card 
truly at random. Yeah. This would not work any other time, any other place, with any other person, with any other card shuffled into a deck, into completely any other free order. Yeah. But now, turn over the eight of clubs. Oh my god. Uh, please work. <laughs> oh my gosh. It actually works. That's Think bad. about that from a li I mean, that probably fooled but you that anyway. on its own is insane, but from a layperson, that's mind-blowing. They shuffle the deck. I don't touch the cards. Mind blowing. They shuffle the deck behind their back or under a table. They name any card they want. That's insane. Think If you think about it... The beauty... The, you, ca you cannot fathom how somebody... How you could do that. How would... Well, I mean... Like, I'm think I'm trying to think my dad loves magic. Loves... I always ask you to do things. And if you showed it to my dad, it would blow his absolute mind. He would not. I just I feel sorry for any layman watching this because I don't know <laughs> yeah. how they're going to ever think. If, imagine like a layman telling the story that, yeah, it would only work with me on this day, yeah. this place, this year. But Amazing. it's true. That would not have worked. No. Any other time, place. But only... then thinking about the first time you did it and knowing what I know. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. So to you, you only see that trick once. Layman will only see that trick once. Yeah. Everyone else, that's a different outcome every single time. Each outcome is as incredible as those outcomes. That's good. So it's any card, not at any number, which I find is quite boring. It is. Because I it's an arbitrary that. number. But yes. now, that is any card at any number. But with, like, for example, the date is much more interesting. Yeah. What any way other time? More, way or more spell into it, because then it's like, that's more interesting again. It's the same premise, it's any card, any number. The way that you get there, any card, any number, you pick a card, pick a number, and there it is. You, all right, If you even if you can't work it out, it's it's any card, any number. You always say it's the most boring trick. It is the most boring trick for me. But because it's any card, any number, and it's done a thousand different ways and a thousand different times. But this, even though it is still any card at any number. It's just got meaning to it. It's the, yes. And it's the story or the out that you use to get to that place the, is incredible. So let me tell you all at home what this is and how this works. Um, and you. <laughs> Do you want to know the best part about this? Is that this could be done uh, with, with, I mean, so the deck's stacked, right? Okay. Obviously, so you know, know what stacked decks yeah. are. Um, you may not know if Stack Clay did that false shuffle at the beginning, but probably. Mm -hmm. Deck Stack. And now to do this normally, if I wanted to come out and see in the Monica, right, three of spades is on bottom, and you name a card. The Jack of Clubs. Jack of Clubs would be uh, 16, uh, 15, uh, three of spades, 21. Jack of Clubs is 36, so 15 after it. Right, so I know now that the Jack... Now, 15 there, yeah. yeah. Uh, how would I... Now I need to work out... Could I spell to it? No. Jack Clubs is like 12th with spelling. Yeah. What's the date and time? Don't know it. Uh, so no. Yeah. How do you work it out? Is the is I have to do nothing for this. I, do have, I, I use zero brain work. Do you remember it? No. Nope. It's all in my brand new app called Maxim. Oh, I don't even know. It's all done in Maxim. All I do is press perform. You name a card as you're shuffling, so cut them into a random position. Okay, let me just cut them then. Name a card. The six of hearts. Six. This is just one of the inputs. Like, this is a basic input. You can do swipe inputs. I do six hearts. The timer is still going off in the background. Yeah. Right? Eventually it'll go off unless they stop shuffling. There's, there's other inputs and there's really some really good peak methods that I haven't shown yet. That goes off. So I say bring them out. Make sure you yeah. haven't cut it to the bottom. What's the... Seven of spades. I input the seven of spades like this. And it takes you to this false timer screen. Now all I have to do is touch the screen, it tells me the out. This time it says, spell the six of hearts. <laughs> oh my gosh, focus. that's so clever. Spell the six of hearts from the bottom of the deck. So if you turn the deck over and spell the six of hearts. Hang on then. So T-H-E-S-I-X-O-F-H-E-A-R-T-S. -E six of hearts. Boom. That's just one... Of so, some of the outs, though, use, it uses um, static outs and dynamic outs. So it takes into consideration the time, the date, the year. So it, it, even the hours and the minutes as well. So if it's 22 minutes past the hour and the, and the card is 22 or 23 down, it'll say count down, and you can put in plus one minutes. It'll say count down the minutes of the hour. If it's, oh my um, God. The, other, the best thing is you can add user profile. So if a performer profile. So if I was going to perform to Kaylee, I right. set up a profile with her date of birth, her full name, her, her, her name. 
And, and so then, if the card can be spelt by her name, her date of birth, your star sign, um, if I know any information about you, like your child's name, which I do, or anything about I can add it all into a gigantic list. So imagine going to a wedding, I know, if, I, if I know the date they got engaged, oh the time they got ma they're getting married, and it all categorizes it correctly and properly. Then when they take this, they take it under the table. If it happens to be that their name card is at the time they got married, the, the day they got engaged, the, it doesn't even matter if it's the day and the month, or just the, the, the day of the month, or just the month, or just the year, or yeah. all three combined. It works out everything in a user profile and calculates exactly where their card is in the deck. I've actually got goosebumps. It's, it's the most <laughs> crazy. I've been working on it for years and years and years and it's finally ready to go in the next two weeks, I believe. And I'm a bit mad because he hasn't actually shown me. I've, 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 literally, I've literally, I literally, genuinely, genuinely have kept it hidden from you for so long. Because I didn't know that. It's so, so, so powerful because A cans are wow. so boring, but once you give meaning to them, yeah. And it automatically calculates star signs for people. You can put in like names of their houses and types of like anything. You can put in any information you want about user profiles or not. And it'll just work off the time, the date, uh, the year. It'll work out any crazy things. It'll work out the day of the week. It knows four ways to spell every single card in the deck. So more often than not, you can choose. It'll tell you can be spelled it. And it'll tell you. If it'll give you options for the out. So it can say you could spell the card or you can use today's date if the day's date works. So you've just wow. got, it's like the ultimate out enigma machine. And, <laughs> uh, and yeah, so this is my brand new app called Maxim. And that was a few performances from it. That's uh, insane. Hope you guys like it. Look how excited he is about it though. <laughs> well, think about it. It's the, Love it. it's the most insane. But as a magician, I mean like. And it's completely hands off yeah. in the spectator's hands. And I do no brain work. I just have to That's perform. Mad. That's lovely. That's a really good. nice, clean. Clean trick. I love a clean trick. <laughs> <laughs> well done. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Keep an eye out on my social media. Make sure you subscribe to this channel to find out more. Thank you for everyone that's been picking up the merch for the Anything Is Possible Ambergram hats that literally says anything, if that's going to focus, anything possible. That means anything quite literally is possible. Thank you all for the support. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys on Sunday for live Sunday session. You can ask me anything you want about Maxim. Say bye, Kaylee. Bye, Kaylee. Name. <laughs> <laughs> I have not covered half of the stuff that Maxim can do yet in that video. That is just showing you the very, very basics of what it can do. You guys are in for a surprise and a real treat when it drops for release very, very soon. But. Like I said, if you want to win an advanced copy before anyone else, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment down below. Pick me and I'll pick one of you truly at random. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts on what you think about Maxim so far. And I will see you all on Sunday for the live Sunday session.